Hi everyone, welcome back to the Joy Junkie Gigi channel and this is Gigi and today we're going to open another subscription box which is kind of different from my usual beauty and health focused subscription box because this one is yeah still health related but very very feminine but this one is kind of eco friendly <laughs> but I bet a lot of you ladies ladies especially will enjoy this so let's get opening this new box a canadian subscription box that's called so so sweet treasures so they're from um quebec it's actually a subscription box of eco friendly cotton panty liners i know i've heard about these things a long time ago and I've actually um, ventured into trying to lessen the amount of trash that I produce and I realized that one of my most produced trash is actually panty liners so I've kind of um, tried using the diva cups and now for those not heavy days I'm thinking of using these cotton panty liners so i've never tried these and i've only seen them like online but i i don't know anyone personally who's ever tried this so so i bet there's going to be like two parts to this video when i open it and when i do try it okay so this is one of the cheapest subscription boxes that i've tried because it's only six dollars per month when i pulled it out this came out. <laughs> We've got a card that says it's a handmade and home homespun gifts and treasures. So, so it's just a cute, very minimal packaging, which is pretty cool because I'm trying to lessen the trash that I do produce. I'm happy that it didn't come like in a box. You know? Oh, okay. So, like in the picture. Um, that I saw from Crate Joy. It's like a lineup of five cotton panty liners. So I thought I would be I would be getting like three to five um, cotton panty liners every month, but it's actually just one. And it looks like this. It's actually very cute. It's very soft, and it's unicorns. Oh, I'm so happy because I like unicorns. I love unicorns. It's so cute. Oh. Sorry, my cat. I want to show you guys how thick it is. Um, it's really thick and the stitching is really, really good. Like tight. And this is like a lot of padding. It's like in this middle area, it's pretty well made. It's really well made. And not only that, so you've got this gorgeous handmade cotton pant liners and then there's like this button right so i guess it like goes under your um underwear and then you just pin it like that and it looks like that isn't that so cool not only does my package have one cotton pant liner i also have one peppermint tea bag which is pretty sweet and then one sticker page which is pretty cute i can't wait to try this it's very soft and it almost feels like felt but it's cotton it's just 100 percent cotton i'll see you guys back when i use this for a day probably tomorrow i'll be back <sighs> okay i'm back after 10 years i'm just kidding just one day <laughs> of using the cotton panty liner from so so sweet oh yeah so i washed it of course before using it i hand washed it and had it hung dry so because there wasn't any care instructions or any wash instructions i just tried to do the gentle washing but when it did dry it didn't retain its shape so it's kind of like wrinkled so especially when i put it on top of my underwear it didn't uh stay that flat so i wish there was like a care instruction 
or like a washing instruction on it so that I could maintain the good uh, quality, the shape that it has and maybe I shouldn't have hand washed it or maybe I should have just put it in a bag and threw it in the washing machine or maybe I should have let it flat dry, like let it dry on top of a table or something like that. So that would be very, very helpful. And it's my fault as well because I didn't Google it because I didn't really have time because I really had to wash it so that I could wear it the next day and do a review and stuff like that. But anyway, performance wise, it did absorb whatever. <laughs> there wasn't really any odor. So it just worked like a perfect panty liner, which was fine. It's just that it didn't retain its shape. Even though it was thick, it didn't feel like I was wearing anything additional from what I was already wearing. Despite it being winter and I'm wearing a lot of layers of clothes, it didn't feel like I had an extra layer that I'm wearing. You know what I mean? So it's just fine. Like. There was no difference between wearing a, a regular panty liner and a cotton panty liner. But is it worth it for the six Canadian dollars per month? I think for the good quality that it has, it is worth it. But I had wished that they would have given like two to three pieces in each package so that you wouldn't really have to wash it every day if you just want to keep wearing it or wait for the next package to have another one so that you could have at least like two days or three days to wear it and then wash it and then wear it again. You know what I mean? It's just that, why is there only one in the package? Okay, so I do understand that it takes a while to make something like that and it's such, it's so well made, I bet the labor... Uh, anyway, I just wish there was more, you know. But it, it's good quality, so now I'm gonna wait for my next one next month. So that has been my little review of this cotton panty liner. If you guys are interested in trying it, I'll put a link below. And it really is a good alternative to just using the regular pen liner and just keep throwing trash away. But anyway, so that's it. And I hope this has been very helpful for you. I'll see you again in my next unboxing. And bye-bye, guys. <laughs>